Okay, so we're, today we're going to create a class, right? So, um, this is how you create the class here. You do export class. Then we're going to call this class contact. So the convention is classes always have a capital. So we've got to do some properties. So this is just going to be a model with, um, with a constructor and, and just two properties, right? So to show you how this works. So public property string and um, we're going to have a second property age. First name, then age. Okay, then we can have a constructor. So whenever this gets instantiated, it needs you require these parameters to be passed in so we can set the the values of this uh, class, this object. So it requires uh, two parameters. And then we set the local variables with to what's well, passed in. Okay, so that's all this to it. So now what we need to do is uh use this okay so within the same component i'm going to create a function called load contact list so normally this will get populated in the from the um, a database but what we're going to do just for testing purposes we're going to new up these contacts here so before we can put this into an array, we need to declare it, right? So here, what we need to do is declare our array by calling it contacts, contacts as a array of contact, okay? And up here, you can see I already declared contact, right? So uh, inside of our load contact, we can um, start loading the contact. So we can say this contacts has many elements of new contact. So now we can pass in the values here. Okay, so however many there are, maybe four here, Mike, Tim, Larry, ten, twenty, eighty. Okay. So all good. So how do I prove to you that this is working, right? So we, I, we can um, we can um, create a we can create a um, variable called message, and we can show that on the HTML side, right? So we are going to go message string and then we can say now we can reach the different elements of this uh, message equals to this contacts so we can access the different elements by 
putting the square brackets. So let's say we want to have three, a zero base. So three is going to get us Larry, right? So we go first name. So now we need to go to the HTML side. So now we're in the HTML and we just have a label here. Label. Double squigglies this that message, and that's it. So let's see if it worked here. Oh, okay, before we do that, what we need to do is to uh, make sure to call this low contact list, right? So on the construction constructor, we have to go load contact list. All right, so let's see if everything is working. Okay, so we put this low contact list here. So let's see, we save this. So there you go. You see uh, Larry here, all right? So if I uh, change our uh, position here for example I want to know position um, age of position 2 it should be 20 right position 2 is 20 so in a future uh, video I'm going to show you how to displace this nicely um, maybe in a grid or something so obviously it won't look like this so uh, the code will be available in, this, in the CKW Tech Blogs, so uh, enjoy.